hallo meine Lieben und herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Council. So, ich bin wieder hier. Ähm, ich habe jetzt beschlossen, nochmal ähm, zu der Statue zu gehen. Und mir ist gerade aufgefallen, ähm, dass ähm, ich glaube, dass das nicht stimmt, was der Wollner gesagt hat. Weil er war ja auch sauer auf uns und so. Und er sagte ja, dass die, Sp äh, da, dass die Lanze aus Gold gewesen wäre. So, jetzt wissen wir aber ja eigentlich, das ist mir nämlich aufgefallen, das war ja einfach nur so ein ganz äh, normaler, ich sag mal, so eine Art Soldat. Ne? So, warum sollte der eine goldene Lanze besitzen? Wer hatte denn damals bitte eine goldene Lanze? Die kann ja höchstens dann aus Metall gewesen, also ne, so, oder Kupfer oder Metall, ähm, was weiß ich nicht was. Ich kenne mich mit sowas nicht aus, aber, ne? Also, wir gucken uns die nochmal an. St. Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. Die Lanze untersuchen? Shaped like a leaf. Like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus. The holy lance. How can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain of it. So. Jetzt gucken wir uns hier noch mal ganz genau um. Da haben wir nämlich ein Bild. Das ist Adoration of the Shepherds with Saints Longinus and John. Giulio Romano. 1534. Longinus is holding the holy lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes! Here we can see that the holy lance is represented in the shape of a spear. Misstrauen. I better make sure I check this twice. It's, it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. And there's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. Uh, wir analysieren das. This work is an order from Lord Mortimer. All the details have been conceived with a specific goal in mind. Upon closer examination, you can see that even the style clashes with that of most of the other works in the manor. No. If Mortimer has taken special care as the conception and the exhibition of this painting in his study, in the same way as for the nightmare painting, it must be of some significance. And that is indeed the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. Okay. Äh, ähm, ja. But I believe what I read in the letter from Milan addressed to Mortimer. There's every reason to believe that this painting has been modified according to his guidelines to represent the true shape of the Holy Land. Stimmt. A spear shape. Ja. Okay, so, ich hab's jetzt definitiv. Wir gehen jetzt zurück zu der Krypta. Und da sollen wir jetzt, ja. Mein Gottchen. Jedes Mal raus komme ich immer super, aber rein ist echt immer eine Katastrophe bei mir. So. Muss unsere Mutter eigentlich hin? So. Ich bin jetzt wieder hier. Ich werde jetzt einfach mal hier so durchlatschen, ne? Ach, was hat denn hier? Ich 
I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. Nine. It's made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Nein, die ist das nicht. I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron. And its tip is engraved with a cross. Kreuz? Nein, es muss ja, muss ja ein Fisch sein, ne? Oder? Es muss doch, es muss doch ein Fisch sein. Ähm, es muss ein Fisch sein. Das mit dem Speer war gar nicht mal so schlecht, aber habe ich hier nicht auch? Ach, es gab nur zwei Versionen, ne? Oder? Warte mal, ich gucke jetzt noch mal. Ich muss noch mal gucken. Ich will jetzt hier auch nichts Falsches machen. Weil es liegen nur zwei hier rum. I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron. And its tip is engraved with a cross. Nee. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich jetzt hier auch so einfach rübergehen kann, ne? Das ist gerade so... Das ist so gerade mein Punkt. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich jetzt hier weitergehen kann. This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Oh Gott. Okay, das ist jetzt aber erstmal unwichtig. Komme ich hier noch mal zu irgendeiner Lanzenspitze? Hier ist Ende. Oh, ich habe Angst, dass hier irgendwas gleich einbricht, ey. Da. I can see that this spear has a so-called leaf shape, but is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the eye of Ra. Nein, 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 das ist auch falsch. Das ist vollkommen falsch. Wir suchen einen Fisch und eine Speerspitze. This one has no name. I wonder who it was for. <lacht> Scheiße. Okay, dann kann ich ja da den Sarkophag da einmal, oder den Sarg, halt einmal, wie sag ich Sarkophag? Den Sarg einmal untersuchen. This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Äh... Clemens III. Clément III in French. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? Das werden wir nie herausfinden. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Okay. So, hier habe ich jetzt nichts mehr gefunden, also gehe ich jetzt weiter. Hier lag gar nichts rum. Hier auch nicht. Nein. Nein, nein. Auch nicht. Oh Gott, wo sind wir hier, ey? Ähm. Ich fühle mich etwas unwohl.
Flavius Aetius. Hmm. It was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. I'd say it's several centuries old. Okay, here's noch was. Untersuchen. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Mm -hmm. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun on the tip. Ich brauche auch keine Sonne. Ach, das ist ja zum verrückt werden hier. Hier ist noch eine. Well, here we can see this lance has a leaf shape. Nein. Is gold rim. Nein. And a fish is engraved on the tip. Nein, das ist die Finte, nämlich die, die äh, da auf der die die Statue hat. So, ähm. Ich weiß nicht, wie weit ich suchen soll noch, ey. Ich habe ja auch Angst, hier irgendwie gleich einzubrechen, wenn ich ehrlich bin. Das ist unheimlich da oben. Oh, hier ist eine. Das ist er auch nicht. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape and well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Nein. <lacht> Dreh dich nicht so, ey. Da ist noch eine. Ach so, ich dachte gerade, da kommt einer hinter mir her. Ach, das war jetzt gerade so eine blöde Aufnahme. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. Nein. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. Was? Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. Das sieht immer noch zu sehr nach einem Blatt aus. Es soll ja eine Speerform haben. Oh. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. So the blade wieder. is partially coated in copper and I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra Nein. engraved on the tip. I can see this lance have a spear shape. Mm -hmm. It is copper rimmed mm -hmm. and it has been engraved with the ja. symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Das ist sie. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Das ist die. Was? War hier gerade irgendwas mit an mit Eindringling? Aber ich muss jetzt hier eben noch weitergehen, gucken, was jetzt noch hier ist. Sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear Not the Mortimer sure. family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Ja, ach mein Gott, jetzt versuche den Deckel zu öffnen. Ah, oh, ich weiß nicht. Uh, it's far too heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. Gott sei Dank. Ey. So. Okay, dann haben wir ja alles.
Ich verstehe immer noch nicht, wie das hier mit den ganzen Kryptas und so zu tun haben soll, aber naja. Hier ist auch noch einer, den haben wir noch nicht untersucht. Das machen wir jetzt aber. This sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, like it's entirely sculpted. Ja, ich habe nichts mehr, womit ich irgendwie bearbeiten könnte. Das ist das Problem gerade. Also muss ich jetzt halt das nehmen, was ich kriegen kann. Und jetzt erstmal raus hier. Ich finde das sowieso schon unheimlich genug. So, wir sind uns jetzt zu 100% sicher. Müssten wir ja jetzt, trifft deine Mutter am Anleger, also müssen wir zurück zur Villa. Dann da aus dem Haupthaus halt raus. Ähm, ja. Oh. Oh, okay. Ähm, Episode 4 war das. 11. Der Lanzenstoß. Erfolgreich. Ich habe die Lanzen des Longinus ausgewählt. Ich konnte Kardinal Piaggi davon überzeugen, mit zu helfen. Ich habe die Krypta des Mortimers erkundet. Ohne Erfolg. Ich konnte Herrn Wollner keine Informationen entlocken. Ich habe nicht alle Hinweise zur Identifizierung der Lanze des Longinus gefunden. Ich habe nicht alle Nachbildungen der Lanze des Longinus im Besitz von Lord Mortimer gefunden. Echt nicht? Da lagen... Ich habe doch alle durchgeguckt. Naja, gut. Dann anscheinend nicht. Dann anscheinend nicht. Blinder Glaube. Oh, 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 oh. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Mhm. Mm hm. Ich kann nichts lesen. Weil ich nichts hab. Ich muss erstmal raus hier. Ich hab mich mit dem Nose everywhere I get. Wow. What's the matter with him? Excuse me, Monsieur. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaggi and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short quick. Ihn schlagen, ihn zur Vernunft bringen. Ihn schlagen. <lacht> Was? Ich hab den einfach reingezimmert, wie geil. Oh, ich habe keinen Bock, da durchzulatschen. Ich laufe hier durch. <lacht> Einfach eine gescheuert, ey. Oh, was? Ach. Ich muss da hinten lagen. dem einfach einige Shepard, ey. Klasse. Hier ist niemand. Doch, der Type hier.
Oh. Ah, Louis. My. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Ich muss da hin. Ich muss da hin, ey. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. What's... What's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. Hmm. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? She's right. Yes. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. Was ist das hier gerade für ein Scheiß, ey? Wo bin ich hier gelandet? Äh, wie viele Dämonen, äh, se seit wann waren die Dämonen, manipulieren die Dämonen Gedanken? And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts That's of right. Them. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. <laughs> Unsinn! <laughs> Unsinn! And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Mm -hmm. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. If I follow you, you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh, yes, yes. We were gods on earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The... the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Ooh, I see you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. Did you experience ancient Rome? Oh, yes. Luxury and decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme. But from this period, I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. I've noticed that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the Third. It was during the Siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. Apart from that, Indeed, I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles. 
He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I, I would rather not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? Am I dreaming? Oh, please tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but... Yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. Aha. Uh -huh. Andere Fragen, viele Dämonen gibt es? Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class, it's ridiculous. We are not angels, we don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are, because a large number of our kind remain hidden, or never reveal themselves even to us. Er ist der Teufel? You're the devil incarnate. The devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. Ugh. Why do you bring up folk? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? No, not exactly. I mean that we in fact created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together, until I revealed my true nature to her. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Alazif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. How would you qualify your species, scientifically? Hmm, good question. What is your area of expertise? <laughs> ich habe in allem. Ich bin uh, Biologie, Physik, uh, die Philosophie. Ich nehme die Biologie. I would say biology. So, I would class demons along with parasites. The comparison's not very flattering. You live inside a host and you feed on that host. Do you not? A large number of parasites are essential to the survival of their bearer, you know. We do indeed choose a host, we enter inside them, and we evolve with them. But if you prefer a more philosophical approach, or a more poetical one, consider us as an idea. We are an idea that penetrates the human spirit. But in fact, in no way are we a danger for our hosts. Quite the contrary, we strengthen them. 
What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. Okay, Leute, ich muss jetzt erstmal Schluss machen. Tschüssi, bis zum nächsten Mal.